Good day everybody. Today we're going to talk about depth of field. What is it? What does it do? And how does it affect your pictures? So stick around, stay tuned, we'll learn something. Yeah, so this is where I'm supposed to come in with a fancy intro. Don't have one yet. So what I'm going to do is explain what this channel is for. This channel is for people that are interested in photography but are new to it. Those that want to upgrade from their phones or maybe you just bought a nice new camera with all the fancy buttons, you don't know what to do with it yet. So that's what this channel is for. So if you're new, stay tuned. Or if you just want to look at my ugly mug, keep watching. We'll see you guys. Okay, so when we talk about depth of field, what we're talking about is actually the focal plane or how much of the image is actually in focus. You see a lot of portraits or pictures where you have your subject you know, here and in the background's all blurry. Well, that's from depth of field control. So what we've done today, since my model is in school and it's the middle of the day, We've set up a little scene here. We're going to use the playhouse again as a backdrop. And then this toy truck is going to be our subject. So the first shots we're going to take, I'm going to use my old Canon Rebel T7. Um, it's the camera I first started with. It's a very good entry level beginner's camera to learn on. So um, that's what I'm going to use today for the sake of teaching. Uh, and then I'm also going to use this little 50 millimeter 1.8 lens. Uh, it's a very affordable lens. It's like $125. Uh, it probably should be outside of the kit lens that you can get with this. It should probably, I would recommend this be the first lens that you actually buy extra. So we'll set that up. I'll explain what I'm going to do. So how do we control depth of field? Biggest thing is the aperture of your lens talked about that earlier is the aperture is the ring that opens and closes. The wider your aperture is, the more light comes in. It also reduces your depth of field. It makes that focal plane shrink. Um, the wider it is, or the narrower your aperture is, it expands that focal plane um, a little bit longer. Second thing is, is your distance in relative to your subject and your subject's distance relative to the background. Now that might be a little bit confusing, but um, to explain it in layman's terms, if I'm right up close taking a picture here, my focal plane is gonna be a lot smaller than if I were way back over here, or say I wanted to take a landscape shot of the horizon. I'm really far away from what my subject would be, so the focal plane's not going to be that much of an issue. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to start, um, this is the 50 millimeter 1.8, which means the aperture opens up to 1.8, which is fairly wide. It's going to give me a shallower depth of field. It's also going to make the playhouse, which is the background, blurry. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a picture of that, put it up on the screen, show you about it, and we're going to adjust things. And I'm just going to show you how you can change it, how you can manipulate the depth of field to add some creativity to your pictures. So the camera's on, I'm going to focus on my little toy truck here, Torrens little toy truck. Uh, settings are going to be, I'm at ISO 100, aperture is f1.8, I didn't mean to take a picture of that, it is going to be, our shutter speed will be, it's really bright out, so our shutter speed's going to be 1 2500th of a second because it is so bright out here. Even though it's cloudy, it's diffusing the light and it's just really bright for as far as camera um, speed, or camera sakes seeing. Um, one way if I wanted a lower shutter speed was to stop the aperture down because I'm at 1.8, it's as wide as it goes, therefore a lot of light's gonna dump in. So anyway, I'm gonna focus on the truck, take a picture, show you what it looks like. But I'm going to be real close to my subject. OK, 
Okay, here we are with the first picture I took. Um, you can see the settings over here um, at 50 millimeters. This is with the 50 millimeter lens. Our f1.81, 25 hundredth of a second. So you can see how our focal plane is very narrow. Um, this is what we were focusing on this area here and the blurred background back here. Okay, now I'm going to close my aperture down to f2.8. Um, I don't usually shoot wide open at 1.8 or 1.4 because it makes your depth of field so narrow. Um, you know, it's nice to have a little bit of wiggle room forward or backwards. And I'll show you how thin, I'll take a picture and show you how thin 1.8 actually is or something. So what now I'm going to do is 2.8. And I have to take a light meeting because light meter because since I adjusted my aperture down, it's going to be less light coming into the camera, so I'm going to have to adjust my shutter speed. So I'm going to go down to one twelve fiftieth, which is basically a one stop lower in uh, light. That's giving me a pretty good exposure. So I'm going to take a picture from the same area. Here's the second picture uh, at f2.8 with that 50 millimeter lens. Uh, you can see still at f2.8 it's a considerable amount of blur in the right, back. So the settings we're at now, um, I stopped it down to f9, which is you're getting smaller and smaller on the aperture. Uh, to adjust for the proper exposure, I had to knock my shutter speed down all the way to 1 250th and bump my ISO up from 100 to 200. That's giving me a proper exposure. We'll go ahead and take a picture from the same spot. Here we are with the F9 that I took. F9 at 1 2 50th of a second. ISO is 200. I had to bump that up and knock that way down because my aperture was so small. Now you can see how much sharper the truck is. And although it's still a little bit out of focus, you can still tell what that is back there. Um, that's F9. Okay, so how shallow is 1.8 when you're close? Easiest way, we'll move this out of the way. And you'll be able to see on screen when I put the camera up of the blades of grass, what's in focus, what's out of focus. We're gonna focus on the front headlight there. I'm gonna go down to 1.8 all the way. And like our settings before, it's really bright, so we're gonna to have to go to 1 250th, or 1 2500th, I'm sorry, of a second. So, I'm gonna get down real low. I'm gonna focus on the headlight of the little truck, and uh, you'll just see along the stretch of grass, you'll actually be able to see the focal plane. So now I'm going to do one at 1.8, and now I'm going to go to, we'll go to f7.1. Got to knock our shutter speed down, let's see, 1 500th, still giving me a little bit underexposed. And we'll bump up the ISO to 200, and there it says 1 400th of a second is what I adjusted to now, it's giving me a little bit underexposed, but I would rather underexpose than overexpose. So we're just going to focus. And then you'll be able to see how the focal plane gets a little bit bigger. That's from, you know, when you're up close. So you say, what if I don't have this neat little 50 millimeter and what if I only have the kit lens well we're going to put the kit lens on and I'm going to show you what you can do to still control your depth of field to make those backgrounds look blurry and out of focus all right so we've moved our location to in front of this oh I think they're called peonies little pink flower things we'll use that as our 
our backdrop. Um, I've put on this 18 to 55 uh, zoom lens. It's the kit lens that actually came with this camera. Uh, the caveat behind that is its maximum aperture is only 3.5. Uh, when you're at 18 millimeters when you're zoomed all the way out and it's wide um, when you go down to 55 and zoom in as close as you can the aperture is 5.6 so it's still pretty uh, pretty narrow and it should you know it'll affect your depth of field a little bit but here's how you can get around it um, pull your subject farther from your background if I was here and my focal plane is a foot long, this is going to be more in focus than if I bring it up here and then focus here. And if my focal plane is this big, then that's going to fall off into blurriness. And then all you're going to get is like just the colors of the red and the pink together. So we'll take a couple shots that way and we'll uh, see what they look like. Another thing that I want to mention about controlling your depth of field is the focal length of your lens. Uh, the wider the focal length, uh, 18, as in this one is 18, um, or a 35 millimeter, your focal plane is going to be wider than if you had a small telephoto or a high portrait like an 85 or a 100 millimeter lens. It's going to compress everything down a little bit and your depth of field, your focal plane is going to be smaller. So what we're going to do with this, uh, let's turn it on and get our settings. We're going to go as low as we can to f3.5. I'm going to be, I'm going to start this at 24 right now. And I'm going to take a shot. You want to line up my truck with my flowery background to see. Now I'm going to have to get pretty close because this is a wide lens. Um, and that's another thing is if you're wider and you get closer to your subject um, you'll be able to blur your background out a little bit more so let me see what my settings are i'm going to have to my settings i'm going to be at since i move to 24 millimeters on this lens my maximum aperture that it will let me do is f 4.0 um, so that's what we're going to go with my shutter speed is 1 800th of a second iso is 200 go there I'm going to get in real close again I'm going to zoom and focus on the headlight okay here we are with the kit lens um, at f4 24 millimeters which is a wide a wide angle I can actually if you look actually cropped in quite a bit and I was right up on this table it's how wide 24 millimeters is um, I cropped in to get what looks like a reasonable background on it. So you can still see, even with the kit lens at f4, I'm able to blow out this background. Kit lens, you can tell, is a little bit not as sharp as some of the prime lenses, but it's still good detail in it. The forward emblem is a little bit out of focus because your focal plane is not huge but it's acceptable and it's still you know pretty good detail even from a kit lens now you can see here with the tires your focal plane falling off where that's really sharp and it starts to get softer and blurrier as you go back so even at f4 when you get close enough you can have a smaller focal plane so what i'm going to do now we're going to go all the way to 55, which it tells me 5.6. Um, it's really not a whole lot between 3.5 and 5.6 is like pretty much one stop of light. So it's not going to affect your settings that much. I'm going to bump down from 1 800th. Actually, I'm going to keep it at 1 800th because I was a little overexposed on the last one. And this one showed me a little bit underexposed. So same thing so since we are closer of course it's going to look in bigger and it's actually going to be a nicer shot because it's not as wide of an angle but you'll see um, that you'll be able to blow out that background and it'll still look reasonably okay it's not going to be as good as if you had a 
1.8 or a true, you know, higher f-stop lens, but you can make do with what you have as you're learning. Okay, here we are zoomed in at the 55, which is the most that kit lens zooms in. Um, we're at f5.6. You can still see that I have a blurry background. Now, since we're zoomed in so much, I didn't have to crop nearly as much of that picture out to get the same sort of image as with that 24. Um, still at a 5.6, we have, you know, a lot of the truck in focus. Starting to fall off on this back tire, but that's zoomed in. So zoomed out, you can't even really tell. But our background is blurry. So that's, we can still achieve that blown out background look. Now you can remember our uh, truck was pretty far away, table and truck was pretty far away from that actual bush. I want to take one more. I'm going to pull in a little bit closer. Actually, I'm going to move this here to show you some difference. I'm still at 55 millimeters, uh, 1 800th, and ISO 200 F 5.6. I moved it even closer, but still, because I'm zoomed in at 55, and I am closer to the truck than the truck is to the background, you still achieve that blur. All right, so we moved inside because everybody and their mother decided to start mowing the grass all of a sudden. There's a lot of commotion out there. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. Um, if you have a question, drop it in the comments. I'll get back to you. I'll let you know the answer. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. More videos are going to keep coming, and I'm going to eventually get better. Maybe one day I'll actually you know, write a script and talk fluently. So, thanks for watching.